Hey everyone, Jared here from Effective on Amazon, where we give you actionable tips you can put in practice today to increase your sales and revenue. Welcome to the quarantine edition of Effective on Amazon, and today we're going to talk about Amazon attribution. So you can track traffic and revenue that third-party channels like paid search, so like Google, social, and email are driving to your brand in the Amazon marketplace. There's a lot of people covering this information, but we've dug into the data and consulted with Amazon directly to get the most accurate and up-to-date information about Amazon attribution as it's still in beta. But before we get into it, I wanna remind you to subscribe, click the bell if you wanna get notifications on our videos, and leave any questions that you have in the comments below. Let's get started. So what is Amazon Attribution? Amazon Attribution is a new measurement tool that allows brands to sell on Amazon to track and analyze the sales impact of media channels outside of Amazon. This tool allows you to bridge targeting and ad platforms to performance in Amazon and, and truly understand what sources are driving sales and traffic. In other words, Without Amazon attribution, you do not have a full view of the impact your ads are having from third-party channels. Like Google, Facebook are having on Amazon sales because we do see a lot of the times, even though if you're driving to your site, people still prefer to purchase on Amazon. So what's that effect that your ads are having? Amazon attribution is the answer to solve that question. Overall, Amazon attribution allows you to do three specific things measure, optimize, and plan. Now through the unified measurement Amazon attribution provides, you can gain understanding of which publishers or channels are most effective and efficient at helping you achieve your sales goals on Amazon. For example, you can see clicks, you can see ad impressions, you can see page views, you can see ad carts, purchase rates, but most importantly, total sales. That's the most important thing. And this is going to give you understanding of how your customers that are clicking on your ads, um, you know, from Google or from Facebook are behaving if they navigate off your website to Amazon. And you'll have a lot more understanding of which or what contribution your third party advertising efforts are having on Amazon revenue specifically. So it's a really good understanding of where is traffic coming from. It'll also allow you to optimize and leverage other targeting options within Google, Facebook, whatever other ad platforms you're running for your business. Um, and a lot of this has to do with the structure of how you set up your orders and your line items. And before I give you the two examples that we have, of the best structure, uh, please note that I'm gonna go into further detail on the specifics of um, how to set up attribution. So if you have questions like, what's a tag or what's an order? Like, what are you talking about? We're gonna cover that. So, so stick with us and we'll cover that in just a second. Now let's get into some setup details. Amazon attribution isn't available or useful to everyone. First off, to be eligible for Amazon attribution, you either need to be a first party vendor or a third party seller that's registered on the brand registry. And for Amazon attribution to be useful, you must be advertising in media channels outside of Amazon. And currently, Amazon attribution, like I mentioned earlier, is in beta, so you're going to need to sign up for access and we have a link in the description below. But once you're signed up, you can find the attribution console by signing into the advertising console and then selecting the entity with the name attribution followed by your account name. And that's typically, you can find that at the top of the screen um, in the advertising console. And to get started, all you have to do is first add the products that you would like to track on Amazon. And then you're going to generate tags for each of your marketing strategies. And let's take a look at an example of how to set up Amazon attribution for Google search ads. So we're gonna assume in this case, we've already added our products in the catalog that we want to track. In this case, we just added all of our products because we wanna know out of all of our products, what kind of sales are we getting from Amazon? Then we're going to go to the console or the attribution console and create a new order. So we're gonna create an order for Google. Then once our order is created, then we're gonna create a line item. And like discuss, discussed earlier, each line item will have a tag associated with it that you can use in your URL on your third-party advertising channel. 
When you're creating a line item, you'll select the channel you plan to advertise. And there's a long list, like I've mentioned. And in this case, we're gonna choose Google Ads, but there's a lot of other options. And once you've created that line item, you can then find your generated attribution tag. Now, what are attribution tags? I've mentioned this earlier by saying tags, you're gonna generate your tags. Attribution tag is what I was referring to. And that attribution tags are essentially tracking URLs. Now, according to Amazon, they're parameterized URLs that measure click-through data and attribute conversions and sales of products to users who have clicked a certain URL. So basically, if they've clicked the URL, Amazon can then attribute sales to that click. And once you've created the attribution tag, simply what you'll do is just paste it into your click-through or final URL section on your ad for the platform that you're using. So the first example of how to structure your Amazon attribution to really be able to optimize and leverage these platforms and the data you're receiving um, is to structure as so. So for example, you want to have an order for each channel. So an order for Google, an order for Facebook or whatever um, platforms you're running in. And then for each of those orders, you'll have line items for each of the targeting types within the channel. So for example, with Google, we'll have an order for Google and then we'll have a line item for non-branded and then for branded. So on Google, we would use the non-branded tag in the, our non-branded campaigns and our branded tag in our branded campaigns. Now, the second example is more time intensive to set up, but it's gonna give you a much better idea of what specific ad group or ad set is driving your sales and honestly, what actions you can particularly take to drive more Amazon sales or to leverage more spend in areas that are bringing in a lot of sales on your website, but also on Amazon. So the difference here is we're gonna make our orders by channel and campaign. So for example, we're gonna have an order for Google brand or Google non-brand. And then our line items are going to be very specific. Um, these would be created for each ad group in Google or ad set in Facebook or whatever channel you're running in. And then you'd use the tag from each line items in the ads within the designated ad group. So you're gonna have a lot of tags. But what this is gonna allow you to do is insight down to the ad group level, what was driving sales on Amazon so you can actually make detailed changes and decisions on performance. This is the recommended way to do it just because you know exactly, okay, this ad group drove this amount of sales in Amazon and is driving more value to the business. Now this gets us to how Amazon attribution helps you plan out your media strategy for the future. This is going to help you build the optimal customer journey by discovering which landing pages on your site or which targeting methods are driving more sales on Amazon. Um, along with sales on your site. And with this measurement, it's going to allow you to structure your account properly, know where you should put more budget, and really understand what's the true return on ad spend that you're seeing across all types of channels where your product's selling. So really lets you complete that gap. So you can know, okay, Google Ads brings in X amount of sales on my website, but then it also additionally brings X amount of sales on Amazon. So we could have more of an understanding of okay, maybe we can plan to put more budget or more money towards this campaign as it does drive more revenue, not just on our site, but Amazon also. Now there's one other tracking option not often covered, which is an impression pixel. Impression pixels allow you to measure impressions that come through your ads, as opposed to attribution tags, which only measure clicks. They won't measure impressions. Um, we find these most helpful for any type of display or video efforts. But to give my humble opinion, I don't think they're very useful at all. And the reason is, um, the reason we're setting up Amazon attribution is to know how many sales are coming on Amazon from third party channels. And that's what we care about. An impression pixel is not going to tell us that. So in my humble opinion, if you're wanting to know how many Amazon sales your Google ads or your Facebook ads are generating, an impression pixel is not going to be useful for you. But 
keep in mind, it may be helpful to understand like brand awareness or other things like that. So if you wanna set those up, we've linked to many help articles from Amazon in the description below, as the setup process really depends on the channel you're running in and also just your website and your specific use case. Thanks for watching and I hope you're ready to set up Amazon attribution for yourself. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below so we know what you want to know. And like always, feel free to subscribe, turn on notifications and drop a like down below. But until next time, see ya.